as they come in. So what did we cover today in this presentation? We started by talking about the Scout Strong Award. We started talking about the Den Leaders Training Award. Again, I encourage you with your units, whether you have special needs scouts or not, to um, look at awards as something that adds an extra layer of depth and dimension to add interest to your scouting program. Uh, the Scout Strong Award is a very straightforward one. Uh, it's one that you can give your scouts something interesting to do. Uh, and if you are a den leader, this presentation is truly tailored to giving den leaders some tools and ideas. If you are a new den leader, make sure you go look at that Den Leaders Training Award. Uh, you are eligible as soon as you are a registered den leader, uh, one year of tenure. Uh, there is a provision, I forgot to mention this, there's a provision for Tiger leaders to be, um, if you're recruited in September, to provide nine months of service. So, sorry for that aside, I forgot to mention that before. Uh, we talked about the October point of the Scout Law and the Scout theme as defined by BSA National Council. We did a cheer, we did a game, and we talked about Cub Scouting with Special Needs. I have a few final thoughts and resources to go over. Uh, we Below's Woods has already happened, so I will skip that slide. It was great. I hope you can join us next year. Uh, we do have dates for next year, actually. Let me bring it up here. Uh, we Below's Woods 2017 is going to be... Sorry for the clicking... We Below's Woods 2017 is scheduled for Friday, October 20th. Check-in starts at about 5 p.m. through Saturday the 21st and ends on Sunday the 22nd. That's uh, We Below's Woods Sunset Trail uh, 2017. Put that on your calendar. Again, we're targeting 4th and 5th grade We Below Scouts. Typically, the traditional community units come out. This is a great time for our Scouts to get excited about being Boy Scouts. Uh, and we're going to make an effort next year to also provide a program and invite our LDS scouting friends to come out and join us. Uh, this year we had a great program where our scouts earned the majority of the castaway adventure. They only have a few points of homework to do as a, as a den. You know, go home and do a couple more things. We're going to try to provide a similar program next year. We're not sure which adventure. It's going to be one of the electives for uh, Weeblos and Arrow of Light. We're looking into things like uh, into the Woods, I think is a good one, some animal and plant identification type stuff, and there was another one that we were talking about, but we haven't solidified which one we're going to do yet next year. Uh, by far, this is the first time we did that, first time we offered some sort of an advancement bent on our Weeblows Woods weekend, and we had easily, uh, I would say unanimous, uh, positive feedback on that. that our, our leaders that came thought that was a great thing that we did, and so we're going to continue to do that. And since we have a lot of our scouts come twice, we're going to try to alternate uh, our adventures. So, look forward to that. Next year we'll have some more information as time goes on. Next is district training, and that is coming right up on Saturday, October 8th. Uh, lo <laughs> location's here. Uh, the location is the Beacon Hill Meeting, Meeting House, our typical turquoise loop uh, location for Sunset Trails um, roundtable. Uh, the courses that will be offered include the Cub Scout Leader Omnibus Training, we call it. You're going to be trained in Den Leader, Cub Master, Pack Trainer, and Committee Member. Uh, Margot Mead does a fantastic job of all those things. She takes about three hours. Training starts at 9 a.m. and should wrap up for that around noon. There's also Basic Adult Leader Outdoor Orientation, or Baloo. Bob Arneson does a great job with that. That'll start about 9 a.m. Check-in opens at about, I think it's uh, 8.30, by the way. Training starts at 9. Bob will be done with that usually by about 2, and lunch is provided, so extra bonus. Uh, Baloo's a fantastic one. Uh, there is also a Scoutmaster and Assistant, that's S24, the first of two um, halves of Scoutmaster and Assistant Scoutmaster training, as well as Venturing Advisor and, and Assistant Advisor training. There's also a Troop Team Crew Committee Challenge. If you have questions, please contact Mary Wolf. Her contact information is down there on the page. And there is a Google Drive registration form for I'm ready to go, I just need to let people know I'm coming. That is the way to do it. Big Jack put that together for us. University of Scouting, there was a date and location change over the past month or so. The date is going to be Saturday, October 29th, so it is coming right up. And it is going to be at Newburgh High School. Doors open for registration, check-ins at 7.30 a.m. We ask that you register beforehand on Tentaru, the CPC's registration site. We often have people show up the day of and just pick up a packet and go to whatever class they can get into. 
Uh, there are some great new classes. I should have modified this slide because our autism and scouting people couldn't make it this year, so there will not be autism and scouting, uh, although that is a great series. There is advancement like a ninja. That's an older scout program, uh, year-round program planning. There's a um, um, course about wood badge. It's being taught by the the venerable Robin Stokler and um, the crazy and amazing uh, um, Schleining. Jerry Schleining is doing that one. Uh, Adam Cox is teaching about Journey to Excellence. Some of the classics are Dutch oven cooking. We have two classes of basic and advanced. There's a whole host of classes about Cub Scouting. I'll be teaching a few classes, so please come to University of Scouting. It is a great event. It will amp up your scouting program big time, especially if you've never been. Uh, more information down below, a couple links there for you. Registration is live right now. Cost for participants, I believe, is $25, and that includes lunch. Uh, the, you'll, you'll get a CD with all of the handout information in it, a patch, all kinds of good stuff. So come to that. Uh, recharter season is on the way, and there are a number of tidbits I want to give to you. Uh, youth protection, we had this come up last year. It was a new policy for, I believe it's Western Region, Area 1 at least. Uh, all registered adult leaders are still required to take youth protection each and every year. And the way this was described to me by the council registrar is, when we do recharter and we certify you as an adult leader in that unit, we want your youth protection to be valid for the entire recharter span. We want, don't want your youth protection to expire during the year that we're rechartering for. Therefore, the fallout of that is you need to have, for, for instance, for rechartering into 2017, you need to have a youth protection certificate that is dated 2016. It's simple. It's 30 minutes out of your life. Just go do it again. It's okay. And really what it comes down to is if a, a, a adult leader did their youth protection training on December 31st, 2015. They need to do it again. So, also position specific training. Uh, all direct contact leaders, which include cub masters and den leaders, are still required to have completed position specific position specific training by the time the recharter paperwork is submitted. Uh, there are multiple opportunities to go to recharter training. One of them is at upcoming October roundtable. Uh, there will be, I believe, one more after that, and there are also <laughs> excuse me. There's also multiple planned paperwork turn-in dates uh, available. We want to have everyone be done by November 15th. After that, there's no guarantee that council can get your paperwork done. Before that, council guarantees we will do everything in our power to make it happen. I mentioned Wood Badge a little bit earlier in this discussion, and I want to mention it again. There are two sessions planned for 2017. There is a uh, split session, I call it split, uh, two three-day weekends, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, that's being headed up. The course director is Michael Statton, uh, Dr. Michael Statton, I should say. He's a good guy, um, and that's going to be at Camp Clark, one of the classic places to do Wood Badge. And um, so if you can't carve out a whole week, that's a good one to hit. And if you are, for instance, we have a lot of teachers that say, well, you know, that's too early or I can't sacrifice that. I'd like to do it all in one run. Uh, the amazing Jerry Schleining is going to be uh, course director for the second course, which is going to be in August, the 20th through the 26th. What you do is you check in on Sunday evening and it runs all the way through the very end of the day on Saturday the following. It is a great experience. Oh, and I should change this slide because uh, they have locked down. The second course is going to be at Butte Creek, which is a fantastic location. If you have questions, there are some contact information there uh, for both Dr. Statton and Mr. Schleining. And there's also uh, information from the Council's Wood Badge page there at the bottom of the, of the, of the save. That, that link should be live. The cost, I believe the cost actually went to $245. Uh, cost of food, I believe, increased. Financial assistance is available. Uh, we have a, I believe it's an endowment at the council that is specific for wood badge leader training. If, if the cost is a hurdle to you, a barrier, please don't let that happen. Please ask for assistance. It is available. And we'll bring that cost down. Uh, if you are not familiar with wood badge, it is the pinnacle of adult leader training. It is a mountaintop experience and it will change your life. Maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. Uh, it will help you to be a more effective communicator and a more effective adult leader. So there's my slide on what is Wood Badge. And if you still don't understand, 
Go to University of Scouting, Session 6, taught by um, the, the amazing Jerry Schleining and Robin Stokler, uh, Wood Badge, what is it, what's in it for me? Uh, we are, one of the things that we learn at Wood Badge is that feedback is a gift. And it truly is, and I'm asking you for a gift. If you would like to help me to make this program better, I'd like for you to give me some feedback. What are we doing well? What should we continue doing? If there's something that we're not doing that would work for you and you'd like to see, please ask us to start something. There, there is a form, to start, stop, continue. And if there's something that we're doing that's not working, uh, let us know and we can you know, try to change that or, or stop doing that. So. I'm asking you for some feedback, uh, whether that's email, comments in, in this email, this uh, video below would be great, either way. Uh, beyond that, connect with us. We are on Facebook, we're here on YouTube, we have a Twitter account that is uh, in need of uh, some more activity, and we also have a district website. Connect with us, stay informed, come to Roundtable. And beyond that, thank you for listening, thank you for being here, and I look forward to seeing you at future Roundtables.